So I got new skates. These are the 72 mil USD Aeons. They're not new or anything. Aeons have been around for a little bit, but um, definitely new to me. What's cool about the Aeons and what made me want to try to skate them is that they're not UFS. So they can fit these huge wheels uh, and not have to worry about the frame bolts rubbing uh, on the wheel. So these are 72 mil wheels. Um, and look at that split. I mean, that's like four fingers. Uh, it's pretty crazy. When I first uh, went back to Oak City to get my first pair of skates last year, um, Long tried to show me the Aeons, and I think they were the, uh, the Nick Lomax model, uh, the black ones with the green wheels, I think. Uh, anyway, um, he showed them to me, and he was like, hey, you know, these are really popular. You might want to look into them. But they weren't UFS, and, you know, as an old frame guy, like, UFS is kind of important. So I never really considered them. Um, but, man, I'm real excited to try these now. They're super light, uh, you can fit big wheels, and um, a huge split. I mean, what's not to like? The catch, of course, is as soon as you wear down this frame, this, this boot is shot. You know, you can't replace the frame. Um, same with the sole. You know, the sole, it's a one-piece system. So the frame, the sole, the boot, everything is all, you know, there's a cuff that you could replace, and buckles and laces and, and wheels, of course, but it's all just this one piece shell. Um, really interesting model, right? So I don't know how they're going to perform. Um, I've seen uh, obviously good skaters do good things with them, but that could go for any skate. Um, I'm used to the Razor shifts and uh, before then I was skating SL3s. So this is my first non razors skate since I got back into it. And um, I'm really excited to give them a shot. So, first few runs, you know, there's some noticeable differences between these and my shifts with the wish frames. First of all, uh, these are a size 10, which is the 910 shell. Um, that means that, you know, the shell is probably a lot smaller than the uh, 1011 shell. Uh, that I had with my uh, my SL3s and my shifts feels fine, maybe a little tight. Um, I'm assuming that the sizes are fairly similar to the Imperials, which I have a size 10 as well. So maybe a little bit for this liners to break in. I did heat mold them, but um, I don't feel the shell in my toes. But the liners a little tight, so I, I hope that you know it's just a temporary thing. I'm assuming it is. Um, they feel fast, real fast. Um, the wheels are definitely more of a bullet profile than a flat profile, so that's gonna make a lot of difference there. But uh, yeah, they feel real fast. I'm not sure about the angle. I don't know that I'm feeling forward or backwards. You know, I don't have that K2 feel. Um, I feel fairly normal. Um, but I'm also noticing that on gaps, my heels are hurting a little bit more. Um, on uh, when I land, you know, the, there's a shock absorber in here, but it's a pretty small shock absorber. They do include a second shock absorber uh, if you want to put it in there, which would, you know, obviously make you lean a little bit forward more, but it might be worth doing because um, I'm feeling it in my heels right now. Um, again, I mean, it could have a lot to do with the wheels. It could have a lot to do with uh, the liners not breaking in. I mean, no, the liners, the liners should be fine. It probably has a lot to do with the wheels and just the fact that there's no uh, 
there's no plastic, you know, you're basically riding on the wheels. Um, if you take this liner out and the, uh, uh, the, the boot, like the layer, um, you see the wheels spinning. So it's, uh, it's really low. So I'll, uh, I'll probably put in that shock absorber next time I'm out here and see if it makes a difference. But, you know, just basic skating feels really good, really tight, really nice. Like not tight in a bad way, but tight as in like solid. So soles are feeling pretty good. Um, you know, that initial waxing uh, <laughs> definitely made a difference. Um, but um, the height is a little different. You know, I'm, I'm pretty confident with my Mizu. That's like my, my warm-up trick. And um, I was overshooting it a lot. Um, I think that's just because the sole is a lot lower than what I'm used to, um, which is crazy to think. Like, I'm riding flat 72. Um, but yeah, they feel good. Lock on good, big, big sole. Uh, no issues there. Can roll over fine. Alley oop tricks fine. Um, yeah, no no problems. Little uh, little nervous about Royales. We'll we'll see. Yeah, as expected, Royals are a little temperamental. Uh, I got a few boot, but slide right out, and uh, I, uh, I don't know. I gotta figure that out. I'm not sure uh, what could be causing it. You know, the groove isn't super deep, like the wish frame. The angle is a little steep. Uh, definitely not like just jumping on the uh, jumping on the shifts from the SL3s. You know, it's a very different. Very different feeling. God damn. Yeah, it's going to take some getting used to. I mean, I don't think I've really gotten boot down on any of them. And if I did, I slip right out. The uh the angle is pretty fierce, which is uh I don't know. I love Royals. So I hope uh I get them. I know it's possible. I know people do it. You know, granted, this ledge is pretty fast and just waxed it, and they're brand new skates, but this doesn't doesn't bode well. Back Favre, on the other hand, yeah, I just. Didn't expect much trouble there. You know, I'm sure I'm not getting boot down, but uh, I mean, I could balance those for days in these. 
that's a that's a fairly good pivot point. I think it's just the Royale, you know. I don't know if it's the the boot is too shallow or maybe too fast, you know. The fact that the boot is made of the same material as the frame, uh, as the same material as the sole. I mean, that's some consistent speed, and uh, you know, if you wanna if you wanna balance backslides, uh, it helps to have a bit of a softer uh, material for the backslide area, the, the boot area. I don't have any of that, so I think it's going to take a little getting used to, but um, yeah, I'm liking them so far. Uh, top sides. Wish me luck. So I'm already pretty bad at top sides. This isn't helping. I don't. Uh, I don't think it's the boots. I think it's just me. I'll give it a couple more shots. All right, that last one felt good. Hit a few others, it felt pretty good. Honestly, I think the top sides are about a wash. I probably am just as bad at top sides and shifts with wish frames as I am with these 72 Aeons. I don't think, uh, I don't think the boot is to blame, is what I'm saying. So overall, I mean, first impressions, I'm pretty happy. Uh, I, I feel much more uh, solid in my skating. I feel like the uh, the wheels and the frames, you know, everything responds really quickly. Like it's really sucked into this foot. Um, the speed is great. Again, I don't know if that has to do with the wheels, the bearings, or or what, but um, I feel fine. Like I'm coasting. I have a bit of a lean back, I think. So I'm going to try those additional shock absorbers. Um, I did have some pain in my heels when I did. You know, just a few 180s, and uh, that's that's going to be a problem. Um, Grinding-wise, uh, for me, you know, soles took a couple attempts to get used to the height. Uh, I was overshooting it a little bit, but um, you know, once I got it, I mean, I felt like I locked on better than than with my shifts. To be completely honest, um, Royales are going to be a problem. Um, my uh, having the boot the same speed as the frame, the same speed as the sole. Uh, is great for every trick except for royales and backslides. Um, I will get it. I will get it. But doing boot down royales is going to be it's going to be hard. Um, backside far was easy. You know, I didn't feel any different. I didn't get boot down, um, but um, you know, I got a good lean and uh, and top acid. You know, I'm as good as I was, which uh, which isn't saying much. But uh, I didn't feel any noticeable difference. Uh, full review coming in a couple of weeks, uh, maybe a month. I'm going to be uh, out in Southern California uh, mid to late October. So uh, look for some weird content from there, but means that I won't be able to work on the review when I'm gone. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions about the Aeons. I'd be more than happy to answer if I, uh, if I can. See you next week.